So every single controller video I make, no matter what it's about, I'm always getting asked about the Razer Wolverine software. No, you do not use Synapse 3. I don't know why people keep using Synapse 3. What you do is Xbox, PC, here we go. Microsoft Store, Microsoft Store, search, Razer. Razer controller setup for Xbox. Download Razer controller setup for Xbox. Once you have it downloaded, you can search it up right here. Razer controller uh, setup for Xbox. I have the Razer Wolverine Ultimate and Tournament plugged in, and what's cool is that you can use both of these controllers in the software. On PC, you need to use the controller to navigate through the software as well, which is uh, pretty fun. You can create multiple different profiles. Here on the Wolverine Ultimate, I can uh, save profiles from our profile switcher. If you go to my Fortnite profile, we can go to edit, duplicate, delete it, or save it to one of my profile switchers. I'll go over focus and agile in a second. You can assign any of your faceplate buttons or RB, LT, whatever you want to M1 through M6 on the Wolverine Ultimate. On the Wolverine Tournament, it'd be M1 through M4. You unfortunately cannot remap any of the faceplate buttons to other faceplate buttons. I suppose it's just a trade-off though. Lighting, RGB. Razer has the best RGB out of literally any gaming company ever. That's not even like a dick riding thing, that's just facts. You got a bunch of things here, you can do a bunch of things, uh, I just keep it on static red. You can also touch up the vibration, uh, I don't really use vibration in any of my games, doesn't matter. Then you got focus and agile, which I'll go to another profile where I'm actually using them, so it makes sense. Okay, that's fucking loud. Focus and Agile are very, very unique. Uh, they're usually meant for the front buttons, at least that's how I see them. Focus is a feature you map to one of the six extra buttons you have in the controller, and when you hold it, you can change what type of sensitivity your thumbsticks change to. Focus will decrease your thumbstick sensitivity, while uh, Agile is the polar opposite. You hold that button and it increases your thumbstick sensitivity. It only works while you're holding it though. When you let go, it is immediately turned off. The only thing that's different between the Razor Wolverine Ultimate and the Razor Wolverine Okay, God. And the Razor Wolverine Tournament is that you don't have the profile switchers, that's literally it. You still have, uh, Focus and Agile, I just don't have them mapped to anything. And I think that is going to cover it for the Razor Wolverine software. Simple tutorial, very, very quick video, and I know it's something a ton of people have been asking about, so hopefully this clears that up. When it comes to both these controllers, though, I will be leaving my reviews, or my comparison video more likely in the description down below. The review I have out on the Wolverine Ultimate bites ass and I have to redo it and the tournament edition review is going to be out uh, mm, this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next one. Peace.